Tony Oliva, his wife Gordette, son Ricky, daughter Anita, and their families as they lift the cover off this latest statue here at Target Field. And before we hear from Tony Oliva, the Twins have a gift to give to the family. Please welcome Joe Polad of the Minnesota Twins. Joe? Tony, you continue to uh, make your stamp, put your stamp on this organization, first with your uh, Cuban sandwiches, uh, uh, of course with your personality, and now with this uh, beautiful statue. And so with that, uh, we'd like to uh, present you with this uh, replica statue uh, on behalf of our family and the Twins organization. So thank you for everything that you do. Thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, God. You know, baseball being very, very good to me. And the reason I say that, because you see how many beautiful, beautiful friends I have here, and people who come here from all over, from distance and everything. I can't believe, yes. I can't believe 50 years ago tomorrow, I left Cuba. And 50 years ago, I was working at Tobacco Field in Cuba and playing baseball around the Tobacco Field. I never dreamed that I go, someday I could be in front of baseball park next to a statue of me. It's hard to believe. I have too many people, many, many people to thank you. But it's very hard to thank you, every single one who touched you, I help you to go through that. Generally, I like to play baseball, it's not easy. It's very hard, you need a lot of people to help you. I'd like to thank you, the Minnesota Twin Organization. Carl Pollack and the family. Carl Griffin family for giving me the opportunity to play baseball. I've been with the organization over 50 years. And maybe 50 more to come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'd like to thank you, Dave San Pedro, uh, you, Pollack, for working so hard to make it this statue. They work very hard every day, they call me, they take me to the place to make sure everything was perfect. Be your man. Thank you. Thank you very much to make me look so handsome. You know, that was beautiful. You did a beautiful job. I don't know how you did that. You know, I'd like to thank you, the fans, the fans of Minnesota. They've been supporting me for over 50 years. You are the best. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to thank you the media, especially Cyril Hartman. I can't forget him. I remember many, many times he called my room while I was in the row. Me and Rod Caru, we room it. He called Sector seven o'clock in the morning. He know we had to play every day. But you know, sit him, he do his homework. He hard work, hard work, and very nice guy. You know, I just thank you for all the support, all the media support they did for me. 
my mother and my father for letting me to leave Cuba and come to the United States to follow my dream of playing baseball. Also, I'd like to thank you, my wonderful wife, Gordette, for support, for support me all the way in the good time and the bad time. Our kid to understand why there no was around to have to because so you know guys probably you don't understand a baseball players especially in my time we spend a lot of time in the road and sometimes at the season we used to go to Latin America and play to keep a play baseball it's something we like we something we love and we had to make a living and support the family. And that was uh, my wife, many times, was the mother and the father for my kids. I give it her all the credit for everything that we went through. You know, I'd like to thank your God for all the blessings He gave me. And finally, this statue is beautiful. I love it. You know, but it's a great honor. But you know, this has belonged to you. The community, everything I did for the Minnesota Twin community, and because of you, I could be in the heart and my for generation to come in. Thank you and bless and God bless you. Tony, stay right here for just a moment. I would like to introduce two special gentlemen who are here. Miguel Ramos, come up here for just a moment.